Hello everybody, how are you? Thanks for joining me today with Pros by the Shore, which just happens to be the 50th one that I've shared. The first one was back on January 1st of 2021. Um, at the time, I just shared that short little poem that I had written about the upcoming year, uh, not knowing that it would develop into Pros by the Shore. But uh, I found that I enjoyed writing and I enjoyed uh, sharing them with you. And uh, to be honest, I um, I was kind of afraid to do so. Um, like all of us, I, you know, I was afraid of being judged, of being criticized, being mocked. You know, people saying, who the heck's he think he is, Robert Frost or something? And <laughs> it was just, I'm just Rick Quinn uh, sitting by the shore sharing my thoughts with you. And I do appreciate you tuning in. Um, and uh, they're not meant to uh, have everybody agree with me. Um, yeah, that would be kind of a boring place if we all agree with each other. But I think we all owe it to ourselves to share our inner truth, to be authentic. And this world's a much better place if we're just real and uh, authentic with each other. So again, thank you. And uh, I'm gonna share today's prose, which is titled, Bring It On, Crazy World. So what's the point, this living thing? It's the proverbial question. We drop in, we drop out, again and again and again. So many now coming around to think. But for eons, religions and governments had programmed us to think otherwise. You only live once was the common refrain. It was drilled into us. So much so, we'd parrot it back without a thought. That was it. We'd get one shot. The rest of the time spent as an ethereal being floating amongst the heavens, or if created poorly, eternal damnation was the horrifying alternative. It was the biggest sales job of all time, and quite effective at that. Fear, control, and, man and manipulation was the powerful elite's goal. Mission accomplished, but not anymore. The con job is crashing down all around them. Dogmatic centered religions and government override are indeed losing their grip. People are questioning almost everything, thinking for themselves. What's more freeing than that? But at the same time, more terrifying for political and religious institutions. Their self-appointed pedestals have turned to dust. They now stand with us, eye to eye, soul to soul. Grandstanding, superiority, and unbridled authority thankfully will no longer survive, not now, in an introspective world where awareness is fertile and undoubtedly unstoppable. They had professed that without their reminders to rely on guidance expounded by others, more in the know, chaos and havoc would ensue. Surely the common man wasn't capable of thinking for themselves, but so scary and threatening now for them. As we look to the Christ within, where love reigns supreme and fear dissipates away. No, no, we know the truth better than you, they had always exclaimed. It was our job to select amongst a smorgasbord of religions to pick the best one. Tough choice. As most proclaim, they're the ones who get it all figured out. Come on now, listen up and follow me to find the almighty thee. Those other guys are nice enough, but they're missing the boat. Jump aboard ours and we'll bring you home. Oh, without a doubt, it had served us well and was certainly necessary for those evolving times where peace was such an elusive goal. But now here we are with his spirited divine growth in a rejuvenating healing creation that's much less illusionary, seen convincingly by a growing many. It has become unavoidable. The destiny, the destiny of a rising truth seeking consciousness dynamically clashing with a deceptive 3D world, bringing about demolition and elimination, inevitably and sadly causing unfortunate pain, loss, suffering, but resulting in an historic vibrant change. The world can't shift with the cr without the cracks getting exposed, open and clear for all to see. Truth comes with consequences, devastating for some, but emancipating for most. It's thought by many, none of us are here right now by chance, that, but that we came to be part of a monumental shift, surrounded by star seeds, to be brave, to travel with faith, knowing there's light at the end of this long detoured tunnel and to stay focused on our one main job, keeping our in internal, eternal light bright. No matter what the external world attempts to distract us with, oh, and they are constant and plentiful. 
Step by step, we walk along through the darkness, leaving fear and separation behind. And for that matter, leaving no one behind, not one. Knowing in our core, we are one with the universe. Unify with everyone and everything, past, present, and future. So back to the opening question. What's the point, this living thing? A multitude of answers surely exists within each of us. That's what makes it so fun, right? Whatever it is, today I simply say, bring it on, crazy world. We came for this. We're excited, ready, and rock steady. Well, thanks again for tuning in, everybody. I love you, and have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Take care.